Greetings, interwebs and grandchildren. This is Jack K, bringing you the final bit of Mount Battle from Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. This is it. I think this actually marks the last bit of Pokemon XD that I'll ever be doing. I've covered pretty much everything else in the game. It's kind of surprising that I can make a single playthrough of last over two years, huh? <laughs> If you want to say like that, technically the LP has been over a long time ago, but... Before we head off, let's take a final look at our team. First off, we have Aquashine, who started off as an Eevee that was with us from the very beginning. Became a Vaporeon when we met up with a guy, and... They gave us the Water Stone. Has the moves Surf, Facade, Shadow Ball, and Blizzard. Next we have Chain Chomp, who was the first Shadow Pokemon that were actually that we actually used on our team. He was found at GTM Port at level 10. The naive nature. He had come. The trainer that we snake him from was quote unquote a member of Cyper, but didn't actually join. But got like a Pokemon, no uniform, and it looked nothing like a Cyper guy. He has some moves Crunch, Swagger, Poison Fang, and Hyper Beam, aka Shoop the Whoop. Next team member we came across was Cotton Falcon. We started off as a simple mark ape that we had to snag from the Power Ranger ripoffs known as the Hexagon Brothers. He had met at level 17, evolved into a Flaffy at level 30, and evolved into the awesome Amparos of Cotton Falconness. That we know him for today. Um, I think I messed that up. I think he evolved at level 30 into Ampharos during our blood level. <sighs> Thunder Punch, Body Slam, Protect, and Light Screen are his movesets. Next up, we have Sedrum, who we met with in Cypress Lab. She was snagged from a minion of Cyper at level 15. And evolved into Broom right near the end of the game when we were in Cyper's most important lair, lair on Citadark Isles. Due to a blessing from above in the form of rare candies. <laughs> Her moves are Mach Punch, Giga Drain, Spore, and Dynamic Punch. Hey, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Now, one of the few... The only team member that we didn't actually snag and call in a while. Plutonium. He was found as an Iron at... Level 16. And he has the moves of Double Edge, Protect, Iron Tail, and Earthquake. Fully evolved at Citadel Dark Isles as well. Last but not least, we have Chi Sen, who we met in Panic City when Cyper had kidnapped all the people and replaced them with their own to keep us from getting a hold of a secret of the Pokemon they were stealing from the SS Libra. Chi Sen started out as a Natu at level 22. And now it's a fully evolved Oxnew with the moves Giga Drain, Aerial Ace, Psychic, and Sky Attack. Like Diana and Punch, seemed like a good idea at the time. Anyways, our team has been through a lot to reach the point they got to today. Plenty of Pokemon were stolen away f from villains. Many souls were purified. 
evolutions were had, and plenty of cotton falcons were just as fluffily punched. With that, it's all about to come to a close. One final battle. Very good of you to come. I am Batalus, the monster of Mount Battle. Let me test your abilities in the Mount Battle Coliseum. Who will win? You or I? And this is it! After a nice cinematic. This is the game stalling this time, folks. Not me. We have our battle. He has earned his place as a champion of Mount Battle. This time he's starting out with his Salamans and Latias. My last attempt, he started out with his Megagross and Lati. Oh, At least now Aquashine can get a justifiable Blizzard on it. And Intimidate can be used to its fullest. I think I'm gonna try to. Hmm. Actually, I don't know what I want to do with Chain Chomp. Um. Swagger. Crunch. Let's see if we can get some actual damage off. It's calm mining. Great. So, I guess it's a good thing I went for the lot to guess because it's gonna. Earthquake combo. Critical hit on an earthquake combo! That is bull. First turn, critical hit combo. I guess I can't complain because Chain Chomp avoided the attack. Before you guys wonder how the heck I possibly did that, Chain Chomp has a bright powder. If you weren't paying attention to my intro where I showed off everybody's move set for one final time. And stupid combine made the Latias live. At least we took out Salamence on the first turn, which is really nice. No, um, great. I told myself I wasn't going to use items, but that critical hit was just cheap. And I have a perfect opportunity to blizzard both of these Latias to the next century. Oh. You had a really good fight in me, though. Took out that stupid Salamancer pretty early on. Okay. Uh, this might be a problem, because Aquashine is the best thing I have against dragon types. Um, I think I'll just send out Plutonium, because he resists the Psychics and that the best. Then I know certain one of his Pokemon have... Water type move like waterfall, and I'm kind of hoping they'll go after Plutonium when I attack this turn. That way I can get a free shot off. Ooh, change of plans, guys. I am going after the Latios. Plutonium, I guess you can still protect. Because I am next to certain. The Latias is going to try a Waterfall Plutonium. Ooh, nice! It actually went for the Thunderbolt. And the Latias went to for the Waterfall. I'm going to get a free shot off one of his Pokemon. This is going a lot more smooth than the last take. This is only like the second turn I took down the second Pokemon. I shouldn't get cocky in it though. Here comes Slack King. This thing will definitely make a mess out of you if you're not prepared. It's gonna go for a water. Oh yeah, I don't have Aqua Shine, so I can't switch into it for the water absorb. I should have thought of that before it fainted. Sidrum might be able to take a waterfall, but then again, it'll just go for like a second next turn. Actually, Chain Chomp is gonna... Chain Chomp is 
Chain Champ should outspeed a Slack King. I'm tempted to swagger. Okay, I'm gonna just stick to the plan I had before. Hopefully this doesn't go horribly wrong. Switch out Plutonium for the Drew to take the Waterfall nicely. And finish off that dang Latias with... I guess it was kind of a good idea that I switched anyways. Swag King did an Earthquake. And it freaking outsped Chain Chomp! Jeez! Oh well, it's okay. Things are going to plan. Going after the Drum. The Drum took it like a man or a woman because she's a female. And Latias lived because of Kamai. But on the right side, it's special defense. Special defense lower. And that Slack King can't do a dang to us this turn. <sighs> I can do the mock punch, but I want to take out the Latias too. Mmm, get drained. And Chain Chomp. Mm, I swear if I end up regretting this later on in the fight. Actually, I'm better off just doing the Poison Fang. This thing is pretty attacking for right? and I did not expect it to outspeed both my Pokemon. Oh my gosh. Oh, Chain Chomp, you put up a nice fight. At least you fought vigilantly. Uh, do I want to set up? Alright, it's time to bring out the big guns. Yes! Time for Cotton Falcon to show off those moves. Cause we're gonna need it, cause I just remembered as our quick and home. I forgot it was part dragon, so it resisted the grass type move. Hopefully I can finish it off with a mock punch. While well, Cotton Falcon protects itself from the inevitable earthquake that's about to behold us all. Come on, Zidroom, we're counting on you. Yes! Okay. So far, so good. That Megabrust is coming on the field. If it. Okay, it went for the Hyper Beam. I. That backfired. Okay. I am for Plutonium to come out. And play. Alright, let's see here. I have gotta wait until next turn to do the earthquake, so. Until then, let's get some nice damage on the Slack King and. I'm tempted. I'll save it for another turn. around you indeed are. I'm gonna completely punish you for being a lazy Pokemon. Thunder! Punch! Yes, that is what you get for being lazy. Oh man, Earthquake. At least the slacking is gonna go down. But I just realized both of my Pokemon might go down too, and I kinda, kinda, Hoping to have the Earthquake on Plutonium to finish off the Megacross. This is not going well! Okay, Captain Falcon live. Good. Perfect. Oh no. We're down to our last two Pokemon. I think. And he's down to his last two Pokemon too. Mm, things could be a little better right now. Right. No, that's 
it's gonna take two turns, and I don't even know if I'm gonna live that long. Let's go for the psychic. That. Because I don't really got a good thing I can do against the Mega Gross. <sighs> Am I allowed to use items, guys? I mean, I want to use a revive right now. So close, you're so far. Oi. Could have done things so much better. And didn't I do protect? Oh, yeah, earthquake from the dust cloak. Okay. Oh, prison. What's it gonna imprison? Did just imprison protect? I get the feeling the darn thing did. Okay. First, come on, finish it off, finish it off. One on one, or two on one. That's really nice because I get the feeling it might be 1v1 sooner than I like. For the last time, Thunder! Punch! Oh, it's going for the Shadow Ball, even better. Well, Kata Falcon, you did great, man. All down to Chi Sen. I probably would prefer it not to be all down to Chi Sen, but what are you gonna do? If I can get like one or two good criticals, that would be really nice. Maybe some defense lowering. No. I'm just gonna get Shadow Ball to the face. Uh, so close to fail now. You one last punch for the team. <laughs> and we did it. We didn't mount battle. I know that was a cheap ending, but at least it was flashy and cool. Magnificent. Truly. So, being so young, you may not understand how I can be so happy about losing. I'm all delighted, even excited that someone so young could defeat me. Congratulations, here are your cute box. Did it. Clear Mount Battle entirely without changing your Pokemon once. Your channel is incredible. Without firmly knowing and trusting your Pokemon, this feat would have been simply impossible. For your record setting Pokemon, let me give these a manual training. There are exclusive ribbons for commemorating their 100 wins drink at Mount Battle. You can take pride in it. Also, I would like to have you get one of these special Pokemon. I need to give them to a trainer and show me storm. Very promise. I'm quite proud of them. Here, choose one. Well, I've been waiting for this moment for a very long time. I've cleared Mount Battle on my other file, not a non LP one. And I got Cyndaquil, Total Dial. So you can guess what I'm getting now. But first, you probably want to know what's so special about these. This Chikorita, no Frenzy Plant. This Cyndaquil knows Blast Burn. This Total Dial knows Hydro Cannon. Frenzy Plant, Blast Burn, and Hydro Cannon are moves you can normally only learn 
when your starter is fully evolved and has extreme love and care in you. So the fact that your Pokemon, the fact that you can have these moves on a beginner is just amazing. Time to complete the set and take Trick Arena. I want you to never forget the way you feel now. I want you to keep battling with that feeling in your heart. And one day, I want you to return and defeat me again. I'll be expecting you. So that's it. We defeated all 100 floors of Mount Battle. But at what cost? Way. This LP is now officially over. This has been Jack K. See you all next on a different playthrough. I don't think I can actually properly say next time anymore. Bye.